Next tonight, we meet the Northwest boxer preparing for one of the biggest fights of 2009. In just three weeks' time, he's topping the bill in the United States against one of the most famous names in the sport. And we're not talking about Ricky Hatton or Amir Khan here. We're talking about Michael Jennings, a young man who's just one win away from becoming a superstar. Meet the pride of British boxing, the warriors who've travelled the world in the pursuit of greatness and conquered it. But it doesn't end there. I've come to Manchester to meet another British fighter who's ready to fly the flag. For 16 years, Michael Jennings has quietly boxed his way through the ranks, fighting in such far-flung places as Blackpool, Witness and Bolton. In three weeks' time, he tops the bill in New York City. The lad from Chorley has been handed the chance of a lifetime, a fight at the mecca of boxing, Madison Square Garden, against one of the best in the business, Puerto Rican superstar, Miguel Cotto. If someone would have said to me, you know, in, in, in a few years' time, you're going to be a top of the bill, Madison Square Garden, fight for the WBO against Miguel Cotto, I would have thought, nah, you know what I mean? Not that I didn't believe in myself, but it's like I say, it's just a dream, and it's a dream come true. You went over there for a press conference, you came face to face with the man, what was that like? Well, at, f like I said, I w at first, before, I was thinking, you always build an opponent up and I was expecting him to be like, this big monster of a man, but, you know, we both got on, we got on the head to head, both looking into each other's eyes, and, and, and that's when you do it, it dawns on you, like, you know, he's no different to me, he's got two arms, two legs, and, and head, and that's it, he's, not, he's just a normal person, obviously, with good boxing ability, same as myself. All them Americans, I know I've seen it, I've had emails off them, honestly, and they're all saying to me, like, you know, you Brits are wasting your time coming over here. Well, this is one Brit that's got that pride in him, he's got British pride, and he'll show all these Americans how good he is. When he's not pummeling opponents, Jennings is beating the drums. Music is his second love, but the sudden death last year of his friend and bandmate Neil Nedder Hardy has shaken his preparations. Massive shock, a uh, big blow. It'd have been coming over definitely to America because he loved boxing and he just loved for me to do well. You know, go over there and, and beat Cotto. That would have been wicked for Nada. I'll make sure that I give 100%. I'll climb Mount Everest, whatever. You know what I mean? I'll get in that ring and I'm going to give it my best. So, can a year of tragedy make way for a year of triumph? Michael Jennings is famous for shocks. He now has the opportunity to produce one of the biggest of all time. Yes, a man who needs very little motivation for that fight. Let's hope he can do it. Couldn't happen to a nicer guy. Thank you, Mikey.